Walking wires is something that new artist Logan Brill has about mastered. When this Knoxville native released her debut album, she was amazed at the number of positive reviews in the press. She's been called everything from a far cry from today's slick pop country to bluesy American grit. We made sure to check out Logan Brill and her music for ourselves. Here's Kelly Lynn with more. I'm here with Logan Brill. What a delight. Knoxville native mm -hmm. in Nashville now. That's right. You've just recorded this brand new album, Walking Wires. That's right. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this project and getting to Nashville. It happened pretty quickly. It did. Yeah, I, um, I moved to Nashville when I was 18 uh, and have always wanted to do music. And uh, this is actually my first album that I've done, um, which was a super exciting thing. It came out in October. Um, it was a long time coming for me. I feel like I wrote with it. Uh, I wrote with other people. I picked even random songs from other other songwriters in Nashville, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. What do you say your sound is? Because it's got a very unique sound to it. Um, well, it's it's kind of I, I, I think it the sound sort of picked me more than I picked the sound. Um, I, I grew up singing uh, blues more than I did country, um, and then when I came to Nashville, I was sort of influenced by country and Americana sounds. And then I also think growing up in Knoxville, having the sort of folk uh, bluegrass influence. Um, so it was sort of a weird mix that sort of happened organically in the studio once I kind of got to working on the album. So. Yeah, all of those influences, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And your family, your brother, I saw where you started singing, I guess you did your first show at like 12 years old, so I you did. started really young. I did, yeah. My older brother is an awesome blues keys player, and uh, he and a couple of his friends when they were 13 and I was 12, we would go out and we'd play random, you know, restaurants or bars in Knoxville before they cut off the 21 and up thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so I started out doing that when I was really young and always loved it. Thought I wouldn't be okay, Lord. Walking Wires. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. Is that you said a line from a song? Yes, one of the a, songs on the album. It is. It's a line from a song called "Write It on Your Heart." And uh, actually, my my best friend who designed all the cover art and everything uh, called me one day and said, "I finally found the title for your album." And so she actually picked it. It's uh, a line from from one of those songs. Write it on your heart once and for all. What are the two songs that you co-wrote? I co-wrote on uh, Write It On Your Heart, so that was one of them that we did with the symphony, and then Scars, which is the sort of unofficial single on the album, so, yeah. Write It On Your Heart? What a great title. What, what is that good? Is there a story behind that one? Um, I co-wrote that one with my good friend Jason Signs, and um, he came in actually with that phrase. He said he, he'd been looking on uh, like a quote website and had found some quote. I honestly don't even know who the quote is by. I should know this, but um, it was something about, you know, when you love something, you write it on your heart, and so we decided to take that title and run with it and it's one of the first times we wrote together and I just love what it what it turned into where specifically do you play do you play full band do you play acoustically in in what venues a lot um, I've been doing a lot of stuff on the East Coast recently and Midwest, um, and I tour with one other guitar player. Um, we keep it pretty compact and simple. Um, we used to do more full band things, but it's just easier to pack everything in a car with two guitars and hit the road that way. So um, we've done a lot of cool shows, mostly opening things, and have hopped around with anybody from Josh Turner to Jerry Douglas to, you know, Emerson Hart. We've done all over, all across the board. So it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it's been cool promoting the album and, you know, hitting a bunch of random cities that I've never been to. And if I survive this broken heart, soon you'll be in another star. Well, that's about all the time we have for this week's show, but before we head on out today, we do have a few copies of Pretty Feet up for grabs. If you want to enter this week's drawing, head on over to InsideMusicRoad.com to get signed up. You can also check out each of our episodes online at Zeus.com slash InsideMusicRoad. Make sure to come on back next week when we hook up with one of the newest members of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. We'll leave you today with this week's Artist on the Rise. Here's Robbie Johnson. Until next time, I'm Jennifer Vickery for Inside Music Row. I'll see you again real soon.